Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today we're going to go ahead and jump into the Path of Exile teasers that I've currently been dropping. Uh, so it's currently the 9th right now of July. So we currently have Pinnacle and Act bosses now have static life bars. Pretty cool. Now I was going to cover some of these earlier, but I didn't really want to make an entire video just to cover like an 8 second showcase. So we actually have some juicy ones in here. So the uh, Pinnacle and Act bosses have a static life bar. Pretty interesting. Uh, basically, bosses quite literally just have like the thick boss bar gauge. Kind of interesting. I've never really thought about this before, but one buff I can definitely see to this is players can now look at the static life bar and in their head, they will have an idea of when you need to cull the boss rather than constantly like hovering over the target. So definitely a quality of life buff. I never really thought about this in PoE. I feel like because Path of Exile bosses are so epic by nature i never really thought about a boss health bar i don't know uh over here we've got this is probably like the most impactful by far so we'll cover this one last over here we just got some fluff ones so basically uh you'll no longer need to click waypoints to activate them really nice actually for the campaign i would imagine whenever you go from zone to zone and you go buy it it'll automatically activate so very happy for this one um harvest encounters now start with a single action actually pretty cool i farm harvest every league uh, i know we go from two clicks to one but hey that adds up over time <laughs> and then all of your auras now persist on death i actually don't care too much about this one i try not to die a lot in poe but definitely for sure i will say actually now that i think about it you know everyone's first experience in a t17 you go in you get blasted you're back at your hideout you got to do your clicks of shame you know turn on the term turn on purity of fire turn on this one sometimes you accidentally hit a vol skill so i guess for sure this can definitely come in handy it, it helps take away from the stressful factors of poe so that's nice for sure right the clicks of shame so um over here is a is another interesting one so let's go ahead and take a look at these two because i think these two are actually really big here so this one here Hi, I'm Mark Roberts, Game Director on Path of Exile. In the Settlers update, we've reworked item quality. The rarity of the item is no longer relevant when applying chisels, blacksmith's whetstones, and armorer's scraps to non-unique items. Instead, the amount of quality they provide is now based on the item level. Those currencies now apply 20% quality to very low level equipment, with that amount reducing as the item level increases. This makes them much more appealing to use early game. You can find out more. I really like this change for a couple of reasons. Number one, chiseling unique maps. Not that you really run them a lot, but chiseling unique maps is something you really didn't do before. If anyone remembers way back in the day, we would use Prophecy to get like a 20% quality chisel and we would tap it on our unique maps. I just like that it's kind of being equalized across the board so you can kind of use them more. Something interesting is you can chisel your white maps and probably get way more benefit. Like, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20% quality. Kind of just interesting to see the currency being used at an earlier stage. Because for me personally, the way chisels work for me is you don't touch them until you have an atlas strategy and then you start chiseling. Maybe on occasion, I would chisel red maps to get bonus drops uh, when trying to like climb to T16. But that's not really something you can... Um, you, you don't have that many chisels at that stage, right? So this one is very cool. I'm also really excited to actually use armor scraps in the campaign. Normally, I would use them on base items and then I would elk them. And usually it's garbage. And then you're like, okay. Or for like attack builds. Uh, for attack builds, definitely like, you know, bone shatter leveling where you're quality in your weapon. So that's definitely a big one. Um, so very excited about those two things. The last one over here um is a big one um let's go ahead and check it out hi i'm mark roberts game director on path of exile we've got more news about item quality today quality bonuses on armor and weapons are now multiplicative in other words weapons with full quality will give 20 percent more physical damage and armor with full quality will have 20 percent more local defenses you can find out more about three now this is an interesting one because this is screaming a few things to me so number one with quality on gear being more specifically when it comes to evasion and armor i feel like absolutely we are seeing a nerf to determination and a nerf to grace the question is 
Is it a nerf so that they, you, you still achieve similar values for the average build? Um, or is it a nerf in the sense of like directly pulling power off the aura and overall you will just have less defenses? I imagine the goal is actually to even out and or make it just so that your base gear is more important rather than just gung-hoing all in on aura. I guess to an extent this also nerfs like aura bots to that degree, but to be fair, auras have been really broken for a long period of time. What I'm curious about is for RF Chieftain right now, we actually don't run Determination in the way later stages, but we still have base equipment. So in a sense, you're kind of getting buffed. So anyway, we'll figure this stuff out later as it comes. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Hope you guys have been enjoying your short POE break as we are getting ready to go right back to it. So catch you guys all later. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. We're currently playing Last Epoch right now, so I'll be playing that for the next couple, probably the next week until we're ready to go back to POE. So catch you guys all later. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe and hit that follow button. Uh, or sorry, yeah, that's pretty much about it. <laughs> See you guys all later. <laughs>